What's going on, y'all? It's your boy, Squabo, and today we are talking about the NFL Draft tomorrow and who Seattle should take with their 27th overall pick. I got five prospects here. Number one, C.J. Henderson. He's probably not going to be there, but he has excellent swag and an excellent motor. Two things Seattle looks for in their cornerbacks. C.J. could come in and have an instant impact in Seattle. He would play excellent in our system. Uh, we play a lot of man-to-man. -man. He's good at that. C.J. Henderson out of Florida would be my first uh, pick if he's still on the board. Number two, I look to Clavon Chase on. Uh, later mock drafts have had him falling uh, out of LSU, right? A phenomenal edge rusher. If he played opposite Bruce Irvin, our outside linebackers would get to the quarterback regularly, and that is something Seattle hasn't had pretty much since our Super Bowl run. Uh, it would be absolutely great for Seattle to bring in a Clavon Chase on, and I have another guy pretty similar to him coming up a little bit later on this list. If he's available, we take Clavon Chase on. Uh, second on my list. Uh, third overall, you have to go to the guy from Penn State, uh, YGM, Yader Gross Matos. He plays the defensive line position like a running back. Uh, he has great vision, excellent patience. He finds a hole, waits for it, and then fires through it explosively. He's very strong, gets to the quarterback. He plays very similar to Michael Bennett in the sense that he's great at getting hands off of him and just the patience and ability to find the running back and understand the offensive scheme and how they're trying to block. He blows plays up. Uh, YGM gets the edge from you right now, but it's very close between him and Wisconsin's Zach Bond. This is a guy that I, I like in a little bit to Clavon Chase on because he plays a lot of linebacker. He has great pursuit. Uh, he gets hands off of him so well. He's very fast and he has great anticipation. Uh, they dropped him in coverage a lot in Wisconsin, at Wisconsin and he was doing a great job. This is a, a, another guy that I'd love to see in Seattle. Lastly on my list, I have LSU's Grant Delpit because he's an excellent open field tackler, great at undercutting route, makes big plays and big games. Grant Delpit would be a great addition to our secondary. I would love to add him uh, to the Seattle Seahawks. All right, so to summarize it up, C.J. Henderson would be my first overall pick if he was available. If he's not on the board, I look to Clavon Chase on. Phenomenal off the edge to play opposite Bruce Irvin. If neither of those guys are left on the board, which is very likely, I look to YGM and Zach Bond. Very closely contested, but I think YGM gets the edge right now just because uh, he's so efficient at, at stopping the run game and understanding run lanes in a way that even Zach Bond might not be able to do. And then Zach Bond, number four. Lastly, I look to Grant Delpit. I like our safeties right now, but Grant Delpit would be phenomenal if we were able to add him at 27. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on this video. Let me know what you guys think, uh, who Seattle should take in this year's draft. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's tomorrow. I can't wait. As always, go Hawks.